What's up everybody, Dustin Jones here with my new buddy, Jay Siemens. They came all the way down from Canada to Louisiana for his very first mud ride. I'm a little out of my element, but Dustin is a dang good teacher. Oh, that's a big one. Jay and I spent a whole day fishing together, doing what he loves. My heart's pounding like a phone book in a dryer right now. <laughs> and now we get to go do what I love to do, mud riding on Can-Ams. This is completely new to me. <laughs> We're out at Muddy Bottoms, which is one of the sickest off-road mud riding parks down here in the south. My name is Dustin Jones with S3 Power Sports Pro Factory Can-Am Racer. And the only thing that I love as much as going mud riding is taking somebody mud riding for the very first time. What am I looking at? Oh man, <laughs> you're looking at the fun that you're about to have today. So you took me on a crazy fishing trip. I thought it only fair that me and my buddies make your dreams come true. Man, I'm Jay Siemens. I, uh, I make fishing videos for a living. I've never really ridden just for the sake of riding. It looks like you brought a dealership along. This is <laughs> outrageous. <laughs> if you're looking at the trailer, we brought all the toys. If you're looking wow. to the left of the trailer, that's all the wild boys. That's your posse. Like I'm sure it's a little bit intimidating because for fishing, it was just he and I. When we go mud riding, it's a group of my buddies and him. You can drive a brand new Can-Am Outlander nice. XMR, full mud edition. I've never driven anything remotely close to that. Like they had all brand new quads and I've never seen quads that big before. I, I was hoping I just wouldn't completely embarrass myself. Since you rigged me out yesterday yeah. with the fishing shoes to make sure I had everything that I needed. I brought my racing shirt. <laughs> you almost looked the part to make sure you were set up All with right. everything you need for success. Are those fishing waders? We got you shoes, we got you helmet, we got you goggles, we got you the quad. I don't know what else you need except to have fun on it. Thanks, buddy. Our idea of off-roading in the South is strictly playing in the mud. It's just part of our off-roading culture. It's kind of just what everybody does. Um, I, I was nervous being out of my element. All right, let's go. He gave me a couple tips the day before, but he pretty much wanted to keep me in the dark. Hopefully from the start of the day till the end of the day, I was gonna come out a better rider. Right off the jump, the plan of attack is to let him learn the hard way. I made it down that hill. I'm pretty proud of myself already. <laughs> what, what would you rank this on like one to 10? This is the beginner hole. This is where we just start the rides. All right. And so it's just getting your tires wet right here, right? All right. All you need is low range and a forward motion. You're, this, make, you're making it sound very easy. This is just opening the day. I'm not sure when Dustin's telling the truth or not, so I'm not sure if that first pit was easy or really tough. Jay, literally whatever you think mud ride is, shine? like show us that right now. I just want to kind of gauge his preconception of what mud riding is. Let him try to overcome those obstacles and kind of fight through it and then start feeding him tips and tricks along the way so we can start figuring it out. Uh, he's not doing terrible, I'm gonna be honest. He's a very finesse driver. Yeah, we don't, we don't really have crazy mud in, in Canada. So like when I would use my quad, it's for ice fishing, it's for pulling boats around in the summer or, or hunting in the fall time and, and that sort of stuff. Just like that. There you go, put some weight on the tracks and tires. Why are you breathing hard? This is more physical exertion than all day yesterday. You got a line of riders behind you, wait. Yeah, the mud riding is definitely a lot of work. I was gonna tough it out, I was, I was ready to do it. Jay, you're honestly not making much progress. And you're holding the ride up, so let's go. It wasn't a fast thing. It was it was slow. You were crawling along. It was it wasn't a race. More of a more of a mini marathon, making it from end to end. Jay, I'm out of breath from helping you. Oh, I'm a sweaty mess. I've never ran a marathon before, but I'd compare it probably to something like that. I would guess. People don't realize how much work mud riding is when you get down in the holes and you have to climb all over the four wheelers and use body English. I didn't know if Jay was gonna make it for the rest of the day. There's definitely an art to it. It's not all about the gas. I need to feather it. I was holding it too steady. I need to just... Yeah. There's definitely a technique to mud riding. It's, it's experience of, of just knowing, you know, the different types of mud. The first thing I do when we pull up to a hole is like I read the terrain yeah. that you can't see. Kind of like that sonar thing you yeah, had yesterday. Yeah. On the exit, you see how it's really dug out and steep? So there's going to be a hole to that? That means it's super nasty at that end. So I want to start a little off center of the rut and then straddle the nasty part. Okay, I'm going first. Yeah, you're going All first. All right. I was honestly, genuinely surprised that Jay was paying such close attentions. And like, that's when I knew, like, dude is figuring this out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five. Right. Go <laughs> no back. I was Just so close. close. Ah! I mean, my goal for the day was kind of to get through, to get through a difficult hole unassisted. My man, still not unassisted. Well, you did good. So close. So close. Oh, 
One of my favorite things to do is to take time and teach people the finesse aspect of mud riding. And a lot of people think that that's not a thing, but it truly is because the terrain is all below the waterline. See when it starts gripping, you're yeah, like, all right, let's go. That's what it feels like. When you feel it start biting. Pulling the windshield is kind of like an L. It's kind of a loss if you have to get winched out. So I learned that quickly. You remember how you were gasping for air earlier on the first hole? Oh yeah. That was just the beginner hole. This is the big daddy hole. This is it. Mm -hmm. You know, going into this whole mud ride, like there was an end game for me. And my end game was for Jay to conquer a super gnarly mud hole completely unassisted. Boosted launch straight into it as far as it will go. And then it's gonna set down and then you can let off and you start doing your work. Pinned. If I can make it through this, this little mud pit, I would say that's equivalent to catching a 10 pound bass. You know, Dustin was obviously still helping me, coaching me along. He had confidence that I could do it. He was cheering me on. Four wheel drive, low range, blocker in. Sport mode, get it. It, it might sound weird, but I, I love those situations where I feel a little bit uncomfortable because that, that's how you get better at stuff. Yeah, perfect, perfect. If you stay in your comfort zone all the time, you're not gonna grow, you're not gonna be challenged. And it's those times where it's like, I don't know if I should do this, but if, when you do it and, and you succeed, it's such a good feeling. He's gone. My dude came out of the hole and he just kept going. He said, see ya. What? My man. Did it. My man. Thank that you was so the much. ride, bro. Oh. You just did oh. it. Basically a 10 pound bass. I, I see why you mud ride now. Throttle sometimes. Amazing. Unassisted, we did it. I would absolutely go mud riding again, yeah. I mean, today felt like a lot of learning. I'd love to, to go hard with the crew. It's such a satisfying feeling to know that just like outdoors and off-roading and like those type of things brought us together, man, and sharing those first times, man, and just sharing that experience. All right, so to be honest, though, the night's not over yet. This is still full crawfish season, so we're finna drop some crawfish in. Let's get some to eat. No, I, I definitely think I learned some good riding techniques from Dustin today that can transfer over to snow, transfer over if I ever get stuck in a mud pit. Can you teach me how to crack a big crawfish? Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're any good at cracking crawfish as you was mud riding, it ain't gonna take you long, so. These are giant, they're not this big in Canada. Oh, these are Louisiana lobsters is what we call them. <laughs> Amazing. Dude, this is what I love to do, man. Taking time like this to take people riding, especially for first. I'm just appreciate you taking time to spend a half a day with me trying to catch fish, so. You just gotta share a little bit of our worlds. Until we do it again. Canada next time. <laughs> Everybody be something fun in Canada. They let you across the border? <laughs> <laughs> we can sneak across. <laughs> <laughs>